Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a loft try-on haul. I saw lots of requests for this one in the comments on my last try-on haul and I was browsing and found some super cute stuff. So I'm excited to share what I found for spring. Lots of pretty eyelets and really pretty floral prints in today's video. As always, everything will be linked in the description box down below and let's get started. Starting off with a great classic look for spring, I would definitely include some of these pieces in my spring essentials video, which by the way, I will be filming here really soon. So stay tuned for that video. First from Loft is this adorable white eyelet top. And I feel like this looks very much like more of a designer type of piece. Like it reminds me of Ula Johnson or something like that, where you would spend a couple hundred dollars on it just with the detail. Um, I love the thicker eyelet trim the eyelet down the sleeve. It is a little bit more on the sheer side though, so if you're gonna wear this to the office, I would do a tank top underneath. Um, outside the, of the office, I feel like it's fine, especially because it is a little bit flowier. It has more of like a baby doll fit, so I love this little silhouette. I think it works great with or without a tuck, and I'm wearing my normal size small. I paired it with these Madewell jeans. These were featured in my fall um, wardrobe essentials and I still highly highly recommend them they're my favorite jean they're just so flattering and I feel like the fit is very classic it's a, more of a slim straight so I just got in this bag I ordered it for an upcoming trip to Cabo and I love it it's I really like the leather material I feel like it's going to be a great bag for spring and summer I, I feel like this is going to be the it bag for spring and summer honestly it's a look for less for a designer. I don't know the designer off the top of my head, but I know Shopbop carries it and they're a couple hundred dollars. Um, and this one is under 50 from Amazon. All right, next is this white midi dress. And this is definitely going in my Cabo suitcase because it would be such a great swim cover up. I feel like that's kind of how I styled it here. And you'll look so chic, like if you're grabbing lunch after the beach or whatever, because it is definitely a dress, but I think it could work as both. It's a gauzy kind of cotton material, really soft buttons all the way down. So you could even open it up if you would prefer. Love the shoulder coverage and it has smocking here at the waist. And I just added this belt here, which I feel like always just makes it look a little more styled. And then this bag is also from Loft. And I thought the green and pink was a cute combination. Paired it with some white sandals, which these are the Oran sandals, but I have a bunch of look for less options um, to round up. So I'll link some of my favorite options for y'all down below. And if I'm heading to the pool or the beach, you know I'm gonna have my old faithful sun hat. I have had this for like, gosh, maybe five years now. And I can't believe that Nordstrom still carries this. I think it's just one of, it has to be a, like a bestseller. What's so great about this hat is it comes in different sizes depending on your head size, which is nice. I have the small, um, I probably could have done the extra small, but the small I would say is really comfortable and it's only an issue if it's super windy, I'll have to like hold it. But other than that, I think the small fits really comfortably. I feel like this dress is gonna surprise me and be a favorite from the haul. It's so simple, but I think I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. All right, next, this look is head to toe lock. So first is this blue and white striped top. It's a really, really lightweight material. So it would be great for going into summer as well. I'm wearing a small, it runs true to size. It is a little bit flowier, but it does tuck in nicely as well. And then I paired it with these white scallop shorts. These are just, precious as can be. I have nothing negative to say about them. Love the little um, detail on the bottom. The length is also great as well. And they're very comfortable. The back half is all kind of stretchy, whereas the front is nice and smooth. They do run a little bit bigger. I feel like I have some extra room in the waist for a small. So if you are in between, I would recommend a size down. I don't plan to switch them out because I think they fit really great in the hips but the waistband does run a little bit big. Here is a closer look at the shoe with the little eyelet detail. They are very comfortable and padded. They definitely run big though. I need to return these unfortunately because they're too big. I can be an eight and a half or a nine. I went with an eight and a half in these and they are still really big. So I would recommend to definitely size down. If you're in between, you could probably even size down a whole size because I could easily wear an eight in these. 
And then I also just wanted to give you a heads up. I don't think that Loft carries a ton of inventory for their shoes. It just seems like they sell out very quickly. Um, so just keep that in mind with these if you love them. And here is the top untucked. I switch it out with a pair of white jeans just so you can see the fit of it. It's longer in the back very flowy through the body. So like I said, it would be great for summer just because it won't cling to you. Fully buttons as well, so it is nursing friendly. A little bit on the thinner side, but I don't think you have to wear a tank top underneath. Next is this blue eyelet top. It reminds me a lot of a Madewell top that I wore a lot last year. I'd say it's kind of a very similar style to that. It does button all the way down, so it is nursing friendly. I'm wearing a size small, fits true to size, kept on those same jeans, and then I paired it with a heeled sandal. I just checked, I don't know when the sale ends, but these are currently on sale with the Target Circle app, and I highly, highly recommend. They're so comfortable, they are almost an identical look for less to Dolce Vita. They run true to size, you can dress them up or dress them down, and they come in a couple different colors. All right, next are these adorable floral shorts. They have blue and lavender. I think if you have like a blue or lavender basic tee, that would be such a cute casual look. I kept on the same eyelet top just to play with a little more texture. Um, but these fit true to size. I'm wearing a four, which is my usual size at loft. So these fit great in my hips, but they fit too big in my waist and I could not size down because I think it would be too tight in my butt, but you can see how loose it is on the waist in both the front and the back, and even the side, which is not typical. So that's kind of a weird fit. So I would definitely have to get these taken in at the waist for them to look right, because I think they would look best with like a tucked in basic top, tennis shoes, a little sun hat. I think it'd be such a cute look for summer. Okay. Next is this lavender floral dress. And this one is too long for me. I don't have a need for this, but I still wanted to share in case you're looking for dresses that are great for work. Um, I feel like this would be a great teacher dress because you can raise your arms and there's plenty of length there. It hits me like right, right above the knee. And then I kind of like pulled the material up and over the belt to shorten it a tiny bit. But for me, I would want to get this in the petite just so it wasn't so long. I just like a little more leg to show. Um, and I'm wearing a size small and I think I could even do an extra small. It just, there's a lot of material here, especially when you belt it at the waist. So I would say it runs big and I would recommend a size down, but I love the print and the coloring. I don't do a ton of purple, but I really like this lavender, especially paired with the blues and greens. This skirt also ended up being one of my favorites. I just feel like it's so cheery and happy. You cannot have a bad day if you choose to wear this skirt. I just think it's so cute. I love the colors. It's a light pink, yellow, and then kind of like a reddish pink on the bottom. It's a good thick material, kind of like a seersucker look, but it doesn't feel like seersucker, which I can find to be uncomfortable sometimes. Um, I paired it with a fitted bodysuit just because it needed some balance on top. So I would pair it with something fitted on top because there is a little more volume here, but it fits great. It's really comfortable. I am wearing my normal size small. Y'all let me know what your favorites were from today's haul down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you later this week with a new video. Bye.